This time, oh my God. I'm facing off with renowned explorer and survival specialist, Ness Knight. Venomous or not, but I'm gonna assume that it is. As we take on the treacherous rapids, going, steep mountains oh. and unforgiving jungles of the Valley of the Gods in Taiwan. That is one hell of a landslide. She's more than a friend, and to go up against somebody like that therefore makes this whole challenge very different. Ah, Ed Stafford, I hope that you're hungry and you're cold. It's the Valley of the Gods, deep inside the mountains in central Taiwan. And this area of jungle, this river particularly, is known for taking people's lives. Flash floods, torrential downpours, landslides. This is a deceptively challenging environment. Hello. Ed, mate. <laughs> Hello. Good to see you. You too. Ness is an adventurer. She's a survivalist. She loves the outdoors. And she was the first woman to swim the length of the Thames. She's kayaked the length of the Essequibo River, which is a world first expedition. She's expert at jungle environment in particular. She's also godmother to uh, my son, Ran, um, which makes her almost family. You've not had a first woman out yet. That's true. Across all of the series of First Man Out, I'm hoping to be the very first female out of here. So, Ed, I'm coming for you, mate. Feels a bit different to the Amazon, eh? Oh, he's Jump and chase, isn't it? I mean, there's jungle and jungle, and this is jungle. With a jump from the top of a waterfall, where you'll be launched into the main river. From here, you'll head southeast through a valley full of raging rapids and 100 foot waterfalls. The valley walls are steep and full of impenetrable jungles. Navigate successfully through that, and you'll find me waiting for the first man or woman on a suspension bridge that overlooks a valley of shale and fast flowing tributaries. Thanks for inviting me on this one, mate. <laughs> Cheers. <laughs> you all ready? Yeah. Okay. Three, two, one, go! It's ahead of you. Just think it's ahead of you. It's ahead of you. Come on, keep going. Nash looks like she's staying in the main channel, but... I'm going to get off the river, head uphill and into the trees. Just from a shortcut perspective, in terms of cutting off the huge meander. Feels like I'm entering a new chapter of this river descent, and one that I don't really like the look of. On either side of me are these steep cliffs, but there's no other way now. I'm boxed in. I have to keep going. I'm trying to figure out where to cross here. That is really cold. Still pudding, come on. Still pudding. Steady. Okay, okay. I've got a massive waterfall just up ahead here. I'm completely boxed in. I'm going to have to go through and see if there's a cut through which will allow me to get up and out and, and round. What's this? I can see daylight through there, which means there could well be a way up through the rocks to the top of the falls. I can hear, hear the main flow of the waterfall. I've come out into an area of water. There's a tunnel up to my right. I'm not going to be able to get out. Right. 
tree, the waterfall. And there's no water crashing down in here. It's just this overwhelming sense of relief. There is a chink of light right at the top of here that I think I can climb through. The weather is absolutely starting to bucket it down now. That is definitely flash flood, and that looks like a potential landslide. That's the end of my river tracing for today. I think I'm going to head up into the canopy here. I'm going to see if I can find a cave or a shelter. Yes, yes, yes. That looks perfect. That's going to be my home tonight. I'm going to hunker down in this cave here. <laughs> Ah, it's raining. It's almost night time. I'm just thinking, as much as this is not an ideal place to spend the night, there's no point in me leaving this cave and going straight out into the rain. I'm already freezing cold. It's not a way I want to end the day at all, but at least here I've got a modicum of shelter. I've got to start thinking now of getting a decent meal in my belly. I've just seen some flickering on the water in this puddle over here. Have a look at this. There's a puddle filled with tadpoles. I've eaten some horrible things in my time, but something about slimy. Oh, I can feel my stomach grumbling as well, gurgling. Never had one of these before. Oh. oh. Kind of gelatinous. Oh. Oh, that is not good. That taste just pops and explodes in your mouth. It's bitter. And it hits the back of your throat. It makes you want to gag. Oh, that is nasty, right. But this is calories in. And a little energy boost. Let's go. Ah, come on. I'm just gonna push on through the jungle. The slopes are 45 degrees steep and more. I've got literally nothing to hold on to. Everything has spikes on it. Ah. The tracker shows Ness is moving off the river and heading up into the jungle. And I'm not sure why yet. Ed, meanwhile, is continuing his slow burn up river on a shortcut but the waterfalls won't be getting any smaller for him anytime soon. The water level has risen massively in the last half a day. OK. <laughs> Just hauling myself up through the vegetation. Right. The problem is, at the top, there's no handholds, so I'm having to put all my weight on just my fingers, make myself a ladder of sorts so that I can get up and over that. The bottom of the ladder is going to splay like that so that it's much more stable. I like triangles as well. Triangle's my favourite geometrical shape. <laughs> It works. Bad boy ladder, that was. Look at that. Right, let's go. I could use this as part of a shelter tonight. Every time I'm hacking into this, I'm getting rained down by ants. Oh, almost. Well, that'll do. Tomorrow, I need some food in me. I need to make some pace. Ow. I haven't had any food, really. Let's go and have a look. These little things are everywhere. I'd be foolish not to collect them. Because, uh, because there must be quite a lot of fat and protein in that. What do I need to accompany this? That's this, this is um, 
Taiwanese sugar palm. Once I've split this all into little parcels, little dumplings, that I'm then gonna steam them in boiling water. Bug dumplings. <laughs> they actually don't look too bad. Nice. <laughs> look at those all lined up in a row. It's gonna be a feast. <laughs> ah, look at that. Steamy ball of goodness. <laughs> that is good. It's sweet. Dumb. Yes, that's the river. The only way out up here. I'm locked in every other way. All this water is just funneling down here. I can hear there's a massive pool down there, and that is going into an abyss. I need to get across there to that side. Woo! Okay, that is my way out. It's an extremely dangerous stretch of rivers. The speed of the flow is what worries me. If she gets caught in a compromised position, that current is a drowning hazard. I do worry a little bit about Ness at the end of the day. She's more than a mate, she's family and I love her and I hope she's doing well. I hope she's smashing it. I'm almost at the summit. My legs feel like jelly. Can't see anything, it's just white. Probably worth waiting up here to see if the, there will be any break in the clouds. A few moments later. Okay, the clouds have parted just enough to be able to see the valley that I need to go down. Come on, come on. Oh, move, move. Oh. 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 I just fallen and slid all the way down, straight into stinging nettles, like across me. Ah! I can just feel it. It feels like a thousand needles being stuck into you, but burning fire. Ah! <laughs> I've just been walking for the last three or four hours, and I just feel myself slowing down massively. And it's getting harder to navigate. I need to stop, don't I? It goes against every race winning instinct, but I need to stop. Oh, it's been one hell of a few days on this journey. I feel like I've put in a good shift and I'm super super proud. I won't lie, I'm, I'm so proud of myself and I know that one day when my daughter's watching this, she can be proud too and that's, that's worth it. Tomorrow's the final push, regardless of what happens, I know that I'm, I'm finishing strong. The guys are about 10k down this river valley. It looks like they've had the same start point this morning, albeit Ness is about half an hour ahead. Yeah, I'm gonna have to make it across. This is looking fast. Oh my God. There's only one way to get across this. And I now need to dig a dip bit deeper. The rocks underneath are so slippery. Oh, come on. I 
Okay, we've got a little river crossing here. That river is strong. I can see Ness ahead. Keep going. Keep going. Ah, sh I can see Ed. That's no good. Ah, Ed, stop Ed. Ah. Ah. It's not over yet. OK, I've overtaken that. I can see the suspension bridge in front of me. Just trying to keep momentum. There's so many different ways to climb a mountain. I can't be sure that Ness is behind me. Stephen! Uh. <laughs> You all right? <laughs> that was absolutely epic. What is it? Well, do you think he made it? I think he's miles ahead of me, I don't know. I think he won. Listen, he did beat you, but it doesn't matter. It doesn't. It doesn't matter. That was a heroic, heroic, heroic race. Incredible. Oh, hello, mate. You absolute legend. <laughs> oh, amazing. I'm proud of you. Well done. No, amazing effort, Ness. Absolutely amazing. And you. Effort. I didn't come out as first woman out, no, but that's OK, because I I just loved this whole experience. It, it really did push me beyond what I ever thought it would do. And I'm just going to be going back home with such a incredible appreciation and gratitude for the family that I have because when you're away you miss them like heck. That was good fun. Nice. Sometimes. <laughs> oh, I'm so proud. You're going home tomorrow. <laughs> I think that what Ness achieved is extraordinary. It was somebody that I respect, somebody that integrity is second to none and I think it was those sort of inherent qualities in Ness that, that made her such an amazing person to go up against. And I think above everything, above her skill set, above her experience, it was really wanting to pitch myself against somebody that, that has got that mental fortitude.